channel. So today I'm doing my March yays and nays. Um, March has been a kind of busy, not so busy month for me. Um, it started with me being sick for two weeks. Actually, I was sick in all of February too, so it just continued into March. And then it was Easter, we were still, like the whole family was sick. Uh, it was Easter, everyone was still sick, but we were going to go to the cabin. So if you followed me on Snapchat, you know we went to the cabin for a week. We were just supposed to be there for a couple of days, but then I got even more sick. So we decided to stay there for a couple of more weeks. Yeah, no, sorry, not weeks, but days. Um, I broke a couple of nails um, skiing. Uh, I was so stupid, I put on a peel-off face coat before we went and it's kind of just peeled off after just one day in the slopes. But yes, um, I also brought a couple of new products with me to the cabin and I'm going to talk a little bit about them here in this video. So I hope that you enjoy it and I also have a lot of nail stuff to talk about this time and I thought that maybe if I did this like every month I am um, <laughs> the products would kind of it wouldn't be as many products every time but I was wrong there's a lot so grab a cup of tea some biscuits coffee popcorn like whatever and please enjoy and also just a disclaimer on the knee side, I'm not bashing the brand, I'm not bashing the products. These were just products that did not work for me and they might work for you and if they do, great. And also my favorites might not work for you but they do for me so yay for me. So let's start with some NA products. <laughs> when we went to the cabin I brought with me these sample sizes from Iran. Luckily they're just sample sizes, just something I got in a magazine. We were packing lightly so um, I thought that maybe I should just bring on bring along some of these sample sizes. So that it was um, something for the lips, uh, a moisturizing face cream and an eye cream. These broke me out. Like my whole forehead was just small little white bumps all the way. Um, I have uh, struggled with bad skin for a very long time. Um, since I was 10 when my first pimple came out. And these just... These were not good for me, for my skin. My skin did not like these at all all um so mm, another product that's it's not awful but it's it's the maybelline um master sculpt contouring light to medium i brought this with me to the cabin and i already knew that it was not um it's not really that pigmented this is what it looks like so like they also have a medium to dark and the medium to dark contour color is a little bit cooler than this but I I picked this up because I wanted something that I could both um, bronze and contour with but this this hair is it's not it, it's not pigmented it's not pigmented at all but it's probably perfect if you just want that subtle bronze and highlight for those non makeup makeup days I'm just going to swatch it here so you can see so yes the highlight is a little bit glittery um, but it has just a natural shine and the bronzing it does blend out pretty nicely but yeah it's perfect for a it's perfect for a weekend at the cabin when you don't want to wear too much makeup but you still just want to I don't know bring some warmth to your face just have that like it's I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it, but solely just for those probably summer days when they come. I don't know when they're coming. Probably never. Um, I live in Norway. It's cold here. It's cold, gray, and it rains. But yes, 
Uh, it's not my favorite. But a product from Maybelline that I also brought with me to the cabin was uh, the Baby Lips um, Moisturizing Lip Gloss. And my lips have been so sore and dry and patchy. And I've used like every single product that I have from lip balms to my beloved Ole Henriksen um, lip treatment, lip scrubs, like everything. But then, like one morning when I was doing my makeup, oh hey, I might as well just put on my lip gloss and just work it. And this made my lips completely hydrated. It fixed all my pro um, all my problems, like the the nasty like crust that had form around my lips, like the dry crust around my lips. It just disappeared in a matter of two days using this. So I don't know if you can see, but it's <laughs> it's quite empty. But this one contains, um, the Baby Lips um, lip glosses actually contain a lot of oils and also vitamin E. And since it's a gloss, it doesn't, um, your lips don't soak it up straight ahead. It, it stays on your lips like a film and that's probably why it worked better than the lip balms that just your lips just eat up. So this one is a highly recommendation or a, a cheap option to try if you're struggling with um, chapped lips. And another lip item I have been loving are uh, the Lancome uh, new lip oils, <laughs> oil shakers. Um, these are just awesome. You just shake them up like this and like all the product you need is here on this little sponge and I'm going to see if you can swatch it. So they're not very very pigmented but they are super super hydrating. So this one has and um, this one is berry in love so it has a more like purplish uh, tint to it. Uh, when the oil dries down, you're left with a super nice tint. And I can also show you this one, which is Lemon Explosion. They all smell differently and also have like a little taste to them. This one is a more pink. Um, it actually has an, an, almost not any color, but this one is the only one with some sparkles in it. And... When the oil dries down, um, your lips are left with a small tint and it's very, very hydrating. And as I was saying, they all have different smells and tastes and it's often like a referral to how, um, like their name. So the lemon explosion is more lemony and the berry is kind of berry tasting, smelling really, really nice. The mascara I've been loving this month or past month has been the Max Factor Voluptuous False Lash Effect Mascara. This is their newest one and I was very skeptical to this when I first saw it because it, it has a very huge brush as you can see and it also has like the ball tip if you can see that. Um, very few mascaras here in Norway has this ball, this ball tip, but I'm really, really loving it. It separates my lashes perfectly. It gives the volume I want. It also gives a little bit of length and the ball tip makes it so easy to just do my lower lashes. And I, I'm also able to get to the lashes out at my outer corner very easily and also in the inner corner and the ball also makes it just easy just to separate the lashes. I'm really really loving it and I also recommended it to a friend and she's also loving it at the moment. A mascara that I did not enjoy this month is the L'Oreal False Lash Wings Sculpt. This is absolutely awful. Um, I, 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 I really just want my money back on this one, but yes, 
Uh, luckily I bought it on sale so it did not cost me a lot but yeah this is what the brush looks it's slanted uh, it's supposed to you're supposed to be able to push like this upper side up into your lashes so you get that black fill in that some people feel that is hard but yeah no this is a sticky sticky formula I put it on one of I put it on my lashes on one eye and I was thinking do I have to put it on my other eye please but I did because I was going out and I I'm always doing my mascara at last so no it, it it's it's like glue to your lashes it's hard to get off it does not want to get off it does not want to get on this is probably the one thing that I'll just blunt out say do not buy do not buy do not buy now let's look at a product that I have been loving and also wanting for a while even though it's not really that expensive just really really wanting it it's the dream chic blush and highlighters uh, from Viva La Diva this is really inexpensive um, and it's a really really nice palette you get a small mirror and this is what it looks like it's four blushes and two highlighters they are really really gorgeous um, pigmented and the highlighters are they're subtle almost for every day so if you want that strong strong highlighter this might not be the thing for you but it has like a pink tone highlighter and a gold tone highlighter and I am wearing it today I don't know if you can see in this bad lighting but yes I'm wearing it today I'm also wearing um, the rosy, sh rosy cheeks uh, blush which is this one I feel you can build up these colors and they are just I think it's like a perfect start of um, blush palette blush and highlight palette really loving them and it's also kind of a spring feel to it I'm really into sp springtime feel things I really want spring even though it's raining outside it's cloudy that's how it is the final makeup product uh, that's in my favorites right now is I don't know if I mentioned this in my February favorites but yes it's the elf illuminating is it Illum luminance yes luminous uh, powder now I'm using this as a setting and baking powder but it is illuminant like it that means that it does have like a small small grains of luminizing powder specks or something like that so it it also it says it's supposed to um, hide away fine lines and or blur out fine lines and uh, pores so if you don't have those uh, types of problems, if you're not if you're not having those types of problems, this might not be the powder for you. A friend of mine also bought it, and she's quite younger than me, and it did not fit her quite well. Um, but for me, I'm I'm older, I'm grown up. This is perfect for my grown up skin. So if you have, if you want to try out a setting powder, and if you are middle aged, I won't say I'm middle aged, but I probably am. <laughs> this is the powder for you. Oh, I'm doing a lot of Maybelline today. The last product on my nays list is the Maybelline Brow Drama Pomade Crayon. Uh, it it's not for me. Like my brows are nearly not there so this stick crayon thing it's too big for my eyebrows and also it's not really that pigmented it's really 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 not pigmented uh, if you can see uh, it's also very sticky so I feel like it slides around on my brows and that's not cute uh, I'm sticking uh, I'm sticking to my uh, brow pencil which is from Maybelline which I am loving and um, but this one is, it's 
you, you could build it up, but I find that when I've used it, I'm, I'm, I'm filling in with a pencil afterwards anyways, so... Nah. Over to some hand products. I bought these ones from Soap and Glory and... Nah, no... I, I, li I like their... Um, I like their normal, like the original smell, but these ones in Sugar Crush and the Smoothie Star, they are sickening. At least to me they are, at least to me they are sickening. No. Ugh. It's supposed to be with, is it with almonds? Almonds and vanilla. Uh, no, no. I, I don't like vanilla smells, but this one with the almond and vanilla, it's, it's sickly sweet. Sickly sweet with marzipan, nuts and the vanilla. No, I don't want my hands to smell like that. And this other one with the sugar crush, sweet lime. It, it's, it's better than the smoothie star one, but... And I also use this and I, I am using it just because I don't want to... Like, this one I'll give away to someone who likes the vanilla smell, but I'll use this just because it's, it is a good hand cream. They are good hand creams, it's just the smell and it's not for me. The hand cream that I am loving and that is my favorite and it is my holy grail and I'm crying because we're not selling it anymore anymore. It is the Dead Sea Spa Magic Super Hand Cream. That is a mouthful to say, but this is so good. I love it. Um the smell is it's mild, nothing special, just a mild, flowery, fresh scent. I love this, it hydrates my hands, I can go and wash my hands after I've used it and when I've dried my hands on a towel, they still feel hydrated. It's so, so good. And over to the nail stuff and the base coat I've been using uh, for the most part of March is the Und Nail Lacquer. Um, it's my peel off base coat and I saw Simply Nailogical use this and I just wanted to see if it's as good as she's hyping it up to be because I've never used a single peel off base coat that's worked on my nails. I think my nails are kind of dry and so every time I put something on them they just suck it up. Like whether it's nail polish, like the color from nail polish, my nails get stained like all the time. Uh, so whether it's like anything they just but this one it works it absolutely works the polish i'm wearing today is uh antigua from tux polish and uh, now this is a an indie brand which i absolutely love um this is a minty green with gold specs and i have been wearing this for six days so it really does hold up and if you follow me on snapchat you saw me applying it and yada 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 uh, loving 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 this color also for spring and summer and it's from their uh, last year's summer collection which i bought like the whole thing and i am just loving this another polish that i got in um now in march which i'm just I'm so happy I got it. Like, you know when you have your favorite polish and they don't make it anymore and then you find it? And it is OPI's Golden Eye. And like, I have had this tiny little bottle. Like, OPI does not write their names on their small bottles. So this is my DIY. Write your names on your small bottles, please. Anyway, I got a large new bottle and this will last me, not forever, but at least a quite while. <laughs> so this is my this is my favorite gold sparkly polish and, and I love it and I have a tutorial coming up where I'm using it so you'll see it live too. 
Another thing I've been loving in March is spring colors. I've really been feeling spring and these um, matte velvet nail polishes from Isadora, which is a Swedish brand, have been in my favorites and I've been using them quite a lot, both by themselves and in designs. And I'm just loving them. They are, um, they are super soft and kind of interesting because they're not just matte polishes. Some of them, like pink sugar, for instance, it has like a slightly sparkle to it which is so so nice. So I have uh, five polishes of these and I have a blue called Blue Cloud and also Light Spring which is the yellow one and of course Pink Sugar um, Bohemian which is a like a nude brownish color and also um, White Velvet which is, white velvet, which is a nice white all of these are opaque and two coats are more than enough to get a nice coverage but as always i recommend using a top coat over and then a matte top coat so i don't know really why they make them matte they don't they don't have to be matte but that's something that completely different like another rant but yeah I'm loving them. And finally, uh, my Mitty brushes. I have been using them quite a lot. Now these are, um, I don't know if you can call them, they're more like professional nail art brushes, but I am just loving them. And there's also one that I've not used. But these, this is just like the perfect set. Like it has the fan brush, a slightly slanted, a brush, a dotting tool, a detail brush, and then just a flat brush. These are high, high, high quality, easy to um, clean, and um, I don't know. They they don't wear the same way as a uh, as um, cheaper brushes. If you want to invest in some good, good nail art brushes, uh, these are highly recommended. And lastly, just um, like in the nail universe something new that happened in March is that I filed down my nails um, see if you can see I filed, filed them down more squall squarish yeah I just wanted some change now I love having almond shaped stiletto nails I feel it makes my hands look longer and I don't know more feminine because I have quite large hands <laughs> it runs in the family um, but yeah but sometimes it's just nice to do something else um, something different now they are still quite long I don't know if you can see let's just turn them around but I've actually trimmed them down almost a centimeter it's only nails and they grow out. They're also quite patched up at the moment since I broke broke this one, I've broken this one, this one's slightly broken. Um, this is the pinky, uh, pinky that I broke um, a month ago. It broke here and I patched it up. So now the whole nail has grown out but I've added just a little bit of my early nail repair powder and uh, glue to the tip just to make it just to make them all a little bit more even like I am I'm not gonna file my nails down to nubs just because my nails break I'm just going to build them up build them up with whatever I have and seal them with a gel polish and that's it for this video of March's yays and nays. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it a little bit helpful. If you did, please click the like button. And if you're not already subscribing, please do for more weekly nail art goodness and beauty stuff. And as always, if you have any requests, a video you want me to make, or just a question, please leave a comment down below. Uh, remember to say hi to me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. 
all of my username is Drommelakin, the same way it's spelled here. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye!